Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about what an argument is. An argument gives us a reason for believing that something is or is not the case. Now, argument is not a verbal fight. Argument is also not a disagreement on controversial topics, though when you talk about controversial topics, there is often an argument to support one side or the other, but it's not the same thing as having a disagreement on something. Now, verbal fight, disagreement on controversial topics may be how we use the word argument in our everyday context. But in philosophy, in critical thinking, an argument is intended to support a claim and other claims backing up that claim. So an argument consists of premises, claims or statements given in support of another claim. In other words, a premise or premises gives us a reason for believing that the conclusion is true or acceptable. So a conclusion is a claim that the premises are intended to support. Now, let's do a practice. So I want you to read this passage. I want you to kind of pause the video and read the passage. So what do you guys think? Do you think the passage contains an argument or not? Well, you can see that the passage is about astronomers discovering something new on planet Jupiter, or one of the, one of the moons of the planet Jupiter. Now, it reports some interesting facts and it is very informative. However, there is no conclusion that the passage is intending to support. So this is not an argument. Example, cutting the interest rate will have no effect on the stock market this time around as people have been expecting a rate cut all along. This factor has already been reflected in the market. Now I want you to pause the video again and to see if this contains an argument. Well, you see that this is trying to establish that cutting the interest, will, interest rate will have no effect on the stock market for this time round. That's the conclusion of the argument. And then the second sentence, this factor has already been reflected in the market, is the evidence or reason for thinking that the conclusion follows. So this is an argument. In short, an argument captures the logical relation or relationship between the premises and the conclusion. 